Hey everybody, it's Chris. I'm back with another review for the Blue Collar Cicerone. Today I'm going to be reviewing an English style IPA. It's from Flying Fish Brewing Company. It's Flying Fish IPA. They're out of Somerdale, New Jersey. This particular IPA has a 6.2 ABV, which is about right for an IPA. Um, and I gotta say, I, in honesty, I don't know much about, uh, I've never heard anything about Flying Fish. I picked this bottle up at a, um, Total Wine for $1.79, and uh, it's just a 12-ounce bottle of standard IPA. So since I don't really know much about the, uh, the brewery, uh, uh, let's just uh, crack this bad boy open and see what we got. Representing the Rebels, got my Rebels pint glass, so let's see where we're going here. Well, it a nice, nice head on it. <clears throat> Lots of carbonation. It says here that uh, complex malt character and floral and citrus hop finish. So um, let's give this a, a good whiff. Oh yeah, that's a hop delight. That's a that's a handful of hops right there in that. Uh, in that first whiff, and now I am getting some of that uh, dewy pine sort of smell, uh, citrus hops for sure. <clears throat> this is a nice, strong, resilient, foamy head. Uh, so let's just top this bad boy off a little bit and give it a taste. Cheers. Okay, I think English uh, IPAs are known for being a little less uh, bitter than American IPAs, and that definitely stands to reason. I'm getting a little more creamy off of this, although there is a bitter. Um, <clears throat> but it's like ESBs, you know. My, me personally, I don't think that English special bitters taste uh, exceptionally bitter. And um, this one isn't either. This is, I would say this is a good representation of English IPA because it is... Uh, <sighs> It is nice and creamy. Um, it's almost like a it's almost like an IPA cream ale, you know, uh, where you get all the hops, but it still uh, still has that sort of creaminess to it. It's just not a bad beer. Um, <clears throat> I don't know anything else about Flying Fish, and I haven't tried any of those. As I said, uh, they're out of Somerdale, New Jersey. So if I've got any East Coast people who want to hit me to uh, um, other beers from Flying Fish, that'd be great. Uh, but definitely, I'd say this one is is well worth uh, having a second one, having another uh, attempt at a at uh, their beers. Um, this one was pretty good. It's not going to knock my socks off, but also this this is one of those you know I always like to have a few on hand of those beers that you can hand somebody you're trying to bring into the craft beer fold. This would be a good one. You got a friend who thinks IPAs are too bitter. <clears throat> Get him a flying fish IPA, and uh, and uh, this would probably be not too bitter for him. A little bit of cream. We've got, I'd say, a low mouth feel, just the tiniest bit of heat uh, as you uh, as you take another swallow. But yeah, all in all, that's a pretty good beer, and um, I will definitely check out other uh, flying fish beers when I come across them. Until then, um, appreciate you watching. Always be sure to uh, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, um, Facebook. And now the uh, Blue Collar Cicerone's uh, blog is up. So it's the bluecollarcicerone.wordpress.com uh, is where you'll find my new blog. So far, I've only put up one blog entry. And don't forget, I'm also on Periscope. So check us out, and uh, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and comment, and until then, cheers.